Welcome to Candid Africa, truthful and unapologetic. Sometimes one wonders, how is it that the American society, being as technologically capable as it is, able to do so much good, can keep its people so confused? The people all over the world hate the American people. They hate you. And what is pathetic about it is that you don't even know why they hate you, and you think they shouldn't be hating you. But if you examine it, they have every reason to be hating you because you are irresponsible to humanity. Look at the people in Iran. The guns that are used against those people are paid for with your tax dollars. The guns that are used to oppress these people and pose a shah is paid for with your tax dollars. Your tax dollars is helping to crush humanity. I say you must take some responsibility. Everything in the world relates to everything else. Everything is interconnected to everything else. Your students, you have a responsibility. You are students and you have a responsibility to see the truth and advocate the truth and not be afraid of it. That's the least we can ask you to do. After all, you come to seek knowledge. Or for what purposes do you come to seek knowledge? So you too can learn how to better exploit the poor? You don't have to come to college for that. You can be ruthless easily. <laughs> yes, of course. Of course. Of course, they might just teach you in college how to make it appear as if you're not ruthless. Oh, they can do it. Some people are talking about Mr. Rockefeller. They say he's a philanthropist. I know him to be a pig, a thief, a plunderer, and a rapist. <laughs> they can confuse you if you're not careful. As a young man brought up in the West Indies, in the Caribbean where I was born, I was told that Cecil Rhodes was a philanthropist. Yes. He even gives Rhodes a scholarship. Yes. They even told me, if you're good, you too can get one. <laughs> yes. I say, if you're not careful, they will confuse you. We have to struggle. The struggle which we have to wage is a struggle as old as man himself. The struggle is for man to come and to be in complete control of all the forces that affect his life and to use these forces and the knowledge he has to be able to control these forces for the good of humanity. We have a struggle to wage. Let it be crystal clear the grounds upon which we wage the struggle, the causes for which we wage the struggle, the objectives for which we fight, the principles by which we adhere to. We say we want to come, get man and woman, come together, use your creative energies, understand the forces that control life, come to use these forces, master these forces, continually, continually try to master these forces, master them always for the good of humanity against injustice at all times, under all conditions, uncompromisingly so. This is what we mean by a conscious man and a conscious woman. America needs conscious men and conscious women. Did you like or hate what you heard? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want more candid speeches like this, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to catch all our latest videos. And please feel free to leave your suggestions, news tips, or topics about Africa you'd like us to cover.